Hey guys, what's up? By Zach Detron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next video, and today we're talking about using the skeleton spell on the queen to kill her on these Laloon attacks. Uh, these attacks are going to be for Town Hall 9, but you can apply the same principles to Town Hall 10 and possibly even Town Hall 11. So it always kind of the same idea, but there's a few common mistakes that are, seem to always be made, uh, not only in attacks I see outside of uh, my wars, but straight uh, in Genesis right here in have Genesis people making those mistakes so these attacks I think um, are good examples for the most part we're gonna take a look at one that was not that good of an example as well just give you guys a good idea of how to use the skeleton spell to kill the queen because it's a very effective tool if you don't want to use a kill squad to take her out um, so let's take a look at this first attack here of course the main reason all this happens is because people um, and they've been doing this for a very long time They've been keeping the queen separate from those four era defenses, and we still see that till this uh, day, and it's a good defensive strategy. I recommend you do it on your bases. Uh, for the most part, it does work. Keep your queen, generally speaking, away from those era defenses, with a few exceptions depending on the base, but um, it makes it difficult to use a kill squad to get some good value. So what Ali's going to do is just a very basic kill squad, nothing fancy, just a golem and the heroes and some funnel creation troops get everything taken out, get in, get two air defenses, he's getting wizard towers, he's getting archer towers, he's getting tremendous value for the small investment he's making, the only difference is he's not getting the queen. And that's the trade-off, you know, you, you can't have it all on these bases. So to make up for it, he has the skeleton spell. Now, people always ask, do you bring one? Do you bring multiple? My recommendation is this. First of all, if you do only bring one, Make sure it's a max skeleton spell, or at least a, a high level one in your clan castle. Don't bring the like level two town hall nine skeleton spell. That's not going to be uh, as effective if you only have one of them. But um, it just depends on how comfortable you are, how big the compartment is where the queen is. You get a second try if you have two of them. But I'll, I'll return to that point in a minute. Let's just take a look at the deployment here. Um, very important, be very patient. Um, if there's a few key points, one of them is definitely be patient. If you drop it too early, the skeletons will get killed and the queen might jump around. You can see right here, she's gonna go on a long journey to chase that lava hound. One thing that's interesting about the queen, um, the queen AI, I guess you can call it the defensive AI, is that she will lock onto a troop and she will follow it all the way, you can see here, across her queen pad is over here. She follows it way out of the range that's shown on the screen all the way to the other side of the base. So if she locks onto a lava hound, she's gone. And if the skeleton spell was dropped back here, well, they're not going to do anything. The queen's still going to be up. So keep in mind, if there's an air defense nearby, it makes it really easy because you drop a lava hound, it'll go to that air defense. The queen will target it. Then boom, you drop the skeleton spell. She'll stay planted right where she is targeting that lava hound. Um, but if there's not a nearby air defense, you have to be careful because if, if she locks onto a lava hound, she's going to follow it. Um, sometimes she'll lock onto balloons. You typically want her to lock onto a hound because it'll do less damage to your air attack. And uh, you can see, very patient. A lot of the base is already down. The queen will not hurt you very much as your balloons are moving through. It's more um, by the last few defenses. If the queen is still up, that's when she does her damage. She starts taking out all those... Um, balloons towards the end of the attack one by one when they're all clumped together so you want to be very patient in terms of bringing one versus two um, like I've kind of said already you want to see how big the compartment is because if you bring two you can drop the first one maybe a little bit earlier if you're a little bit anxious and you can't be patient like I'm saying uh, it's difficult to uh, to hold off you think it might be necessary to get her down quicker if you don't have a lava hound that's going to be local tanking um, in this attack they're actually wasn't a local air defense, I don't think, or at least it went down uh, pretty quickly. So you got to think if, if, if there's going to be a lava hound tanking or if she's going to be hurting you right away by taking out balloons, then you might want to have two skeleton spells. It just gives you freedom to drop them quicker and to be able to have a second chance, drop them in different compartments if the queen moves. Because um, one can take her out, especially with the rage spell. Um, if you don't have a rage, you might want to bring two because um, they're much more effective if you can get them um, within a rage that's already being used on the balloons. If you can put it in a place where it affects the balloons and the skeletons, then that's even better. So let's take a look at another attack here. You can see Iron Lion has two skeleton spells. Um, 
just a quick note, I like what he does here. People don't do this enough. Just a few balloons in the haste to come in and get some value. And in this case, he gets an entire air defense taken out, plus a CC lure, plus a skelly trap lure. So incredible value there. Um, I loved it. I guess the skelly trap kind of stays where it is, but at least this way he knows he'll target the first hound he sends in instead of going for his balloons. Anyway, the... Um, CC goes over, he takes it out with his heroes. The queen, once again, opposite side of the base, but he doesn't want to send the kill squad in from that direction. And this could be a very powerful attack because basically what you can do is choose to send in your kill squad wherever the most value is, independent of where the queen is located. And that frees you up to go at all four of these air defenses, or not all four, all four wizard towers, and I think three of the air defenses. Incredible value. He has a bit of a wall breaker fail, I think. Yeah, I think he had a wall breaker fail. I'm not even sure what happened there. Um, I guess he was hoping to get... Maybe he was just doing a... Yeah, looks like he was just using his heroes to bite off a very small piece. So he wasn't going for as big of a kill squad, but he was able to use his heroes where he wanted to use them instead of having to use them and take out the queen. So they make their way through. Um, keep in mind, he has a number of rage spells, and he's being patient. He hasn't dropped them yet. Um, a lot of people would have panicked and dropped them already. But look, right there, the queen jumps the wall. She's jumping walls all over the place. Now, let me pause for a second. Permanent location for the queen. There's two lava hounds right by this air defense. Uh, she can easily reach them. Now she's in a permanent location. Before, she was chasing balloons wildly. And yes, she was doing a bit of damage to his attack, but not enough to be an issue. And he was patient. Even though he actually had two skelly spells, I guess he could have dropped one um, beforehand. But he's nice and patient. Look, he drops the rage as well to help out the balloons and to get those Kelly spells raged up. Then he drops them both right there. It looks like maybe he dropped one beforehand. I think I can. I'm missing stuff, um, but the point is he's patient on at least one of those skelly spells to take out the queen once she's in a much more permanent location, and that's what matters for these attacks. So anyway, we will fast forward to the end here because I think we've gotten the point from this attack. We're going to take a look at one more actually from the current war that went for a three star. However, it uh, the skelly spell was a bit of a fail. So let's go into our current war against Immoral Reapers down to base number 30, um, Tornado Top Notch. Coming at this base with a Queen Walk, La Luna attack, also has those, um, or the Skelly spell, of course, max one. He's only bringing one, but uh, maybe should have brought two in hindsight. You gotta remember, it's uh, it's taking up this, this amount of space that a haste spell does, so it's not a lot, but it can be the difference. So you just gotta weigh the um, safety of having two of them alongside the potential detriment to your attack of not having an extra haste spell or poison spell or whatever it's gonna be. So I like how he dealt with the queen ahead of time. I think people can do that more. Um, it does make time a bit of an issue, but he has quite a few cleanup troops, those eight minions, and the, the Hound was such an easy lure, he took it out um, without having to invest a rage or the ability, just right in the corner there, took it out on his own terms, and just kind of goes with the queen walk here. So anyway, she'll step up, get some air defenses, he'll funnel with the king. Uh, typical stuff you see in these attacks. Uh, wall breakers her in for that next air defense right there. Yep, there's, there's the wall breakers, wizards behind the king, and once again, I don't, yeah, he obviously doesn't get the queen. She is not going to aggro um, with the uh, offensive queen because her range doesn't quite extend far enough. And uh, the queen will step up, get that next air defense. So he's getting good value. Once again, able to go into the base where he wants. And I guess in this base, it's very difficult to actually get that queen taken out because she's smack in the middle of it. Interesting base, kind of an old-fashioned base. We used to see the queen right in the middle of the base for a while. Then she moved off to the side, but that's, you know, history. Um, <laughs> this isn't a history lesson, although it is kind of fun to think back to what the meta used to be at Town Hall 9 when I was at Town Hall 9. Anyway, though, the queen doubles back around. He may have thought, you know, hey, it's possible my queen will take out the defensive queen, but maybe not. And that's one more thing I want to say before I get to this attack. Uh, real quick, I don't want to waste time, but uh, basically... You want to have a contingent uh, skelly spell sometimes. Sometimes that's going to be worth it. You might think, okay, my kill squad, my queen walk, whatever, might get the queen, but I want to have the skelly spell just in case. And if the queen does go down, I just drop it on a wizard tower, on an expo, wherever. Um, but if she doesn't go down, I do have it as a backup. And sometimes that's worth it, sometimes it's not. It's just a judgment call. Once again, you'll notice a rage spell. They tend to go hand in hand. The... Uh, 
it's just good value. That's why people do it. Um, although he uses the skelly spell too early. Um, and look at the queen. She hops the wall right when he drops the skelly spell. Plus the king's there. And uh, it's not going to go. So uh, you can see the skelly is running towards the king. But not to the queen. She'll be an issue for the rest of the attack. Now one more point I don't think I've quite made. As the queen feasts on some of these balloons. Is that... Not only do you want to be patient because the queen is uh, very flighty and she'll jump around a lot to different compartments, but also if there's a bomb tower, if there's a, even a wizard tower, um, a mortar, they can take out your skellies uh, before they take out the queen. Even if they are in the right compartment, the queen shoots fast, the bomb tower throws really fast, um, the bomb tower is almost a deal breaker. But even beyond the bomb tower, point defense, cannons, um, wizard towers, if they get targeting the ground troops instead of the air troops, just whatever. If you do it too early and the defenses surrounding the queen are still up, then it can be an issue. So you want to make sure that defenses around the queen have gone down or at least are being tanked by a lava hound or something. You don't want to have there be a bomb tower right next to her. Even if she is in a big wide open compartment that she's not moving from, she's being tanked by a lava hound. If there's a bomb tower right next to her, you're going to have a hard time. So um, keep that in mind. Be patient. You can see she's not going to do a ton of damage if you just wait a little bit longer to deploy it. Once again, decide between one or two scally spells. Uh, see if you can use a rage spell as well. Don't use the rage just for the skelly spell, but if you can get good value on balloons as they go through, raging up the balloons, and you can drop the skelly spell in that area, it's probably worth it to use the rage instead of just a haste in that area. So hope all these tips help. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Any other videos you want me to see and uh, yeah, or you want me to make and then later see. Yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.